Here's a $500,000 concept that should live rent-free in your creative inventor brain. This part is under a dollar and this video is under three minutes long. What do you have to lose? Let's go. A microcontroller like these guys here are often found in high volume consumer products because for very low bill of materials costs, you can control electronics as you wish. How can you invent anything without first knowing what's available under the hood on these tiny electronic brains? This is the AT Tiny 85 from Atmel and the $500,000 concept I'm referring to is the concept of a peripheral. Microcontrollers have peripherals in them. They're like little gadgets, little electronic widgets baked into the silicon when they manufacture the part. Use these peripherals to bake functionality into your next high volume consumer product invention. The most basic peripheral on the AT Tiny is an 8-bit timer. This allows you to count from 0 to 255, so you can time stuff. You can also add a prescaler onto that timer, so you can change time bases and count up to a really large time period. With a timer, you can set up your code to do things in, let's say, a state machine. You could read a sensor every so often. It's your time base for how you execute your code. A PWM or pulse width modulator is a peripheral that is hugely valuable. You can use this to control motor speed. You basically have a pulse width that's like a square wave. The closer it gets to 100, the more you get to 100% of the voltage that you're giving to that motor. Super useful. It's also how you do color mixing on LEDs. You can have three different PWMs RGB and get any color you want. The AT Tiny 85 does have a serial peripheral. This is a module that can do three wire spy or two wire I2C kind of. I think it's like a sketchy I2C. This chip has an analog comparator on it. That means you can take two inputs, a positive and a negative, and look at one relative to the other so that you can look at, for example, maybe a capacitor's charging and you wanna know when that capacitor gets to a certain voltage and do something in your code or you wanna know if the battery died or if somebody pulled power from the device and you wanna save some data real quickly, you can use that comparator to sort of asynchronously keep an eye on stuff, trigger and interrupt, and then do what you need to do in your code. Okay, the coolest peripheral on any microcontroller, in my opinion, is an analog to digital converter. This is like having a digital multimeter in that little chip. This allows you to measure voltages. Keep that in mind when you're developing your high volume consumer product. Having that analog to digital converter allows you to read the world and turn it into digital data that you can act on. You might say, well, Jason, how's this a $500,000 concept? Come on. Well, here's what you're going to do. You're going to sell a million of them and get like 50 cents in some sort of a royalty. There's your $500,000. Maybe it takes you $25,000 in lawyer fees, and maybe it's like $50,000 in R&D. The core of that invention can be an 8-bit microcontroller. Not everything in the world has to connect to an app and the internet and all that. When you connect to an app or the internet, you inherit a black hole of software development. Remember that. If you can keep your product to an 8-bit microcontroller and just have a battery in the thing and keep it self-contained, I know this is very challenging to do, but if you can do that, you can avoid a ton of R&D costs and you can get this thing to mass market. Make that $500,000. Thanks so much for watching. Adios.